Urinary or Foley catheterization is a tube that's placed through the urethra into the bladder in order to remove urine. Catheters should only be used when necessary to improve patient outcomes and their well-being. The main reason that the patient would have to use a urinary catheter is for urinary retention. It's best to go ahead and start by checking for allergies. The patients may be allergic to betadine and or latex, both of which are contained in most kits. Ensure that your patient is positioned properly. The position of the patient should be dorsal recumbent, meaning that the knees are up and bent and feet are about two feet apart and the legs are abducted. Now it's time to gather our supplies. Of course, you want to inspect your package, making sure there's no punctures or tears and that it is not expired. Also, this part is not sterile. You do not open up the package wearing sterile gloves, but you can wear clean gloves. Once you've taken your package out of the plastic bag, you have the option to use this plastic bag as a trash bag for disposing of the supplies that you use on your patient. It's very important to set up your sterile field right in front of you, because remember, if we turn our back against the sterile field, then it's considered unsterile. So we're opening up our drapes away, side to side, and then the last flap would be down. We're setting this up right directly in front of the patient so we can't turn our back on our sterile field. Remember that you have a one inch border around your sterile field that is considered unsterile. That's the part that you can touch. With clean hands or clean gloves, touch the one inch border, which is unsterile, and you wanna put the drape shiny side down. Be mindful of when you are adjusting the drape that you are only allowed to touch the one inch border provided. Now you can grab your sterile gloves out of your kit and you can open your sterile gloves right on the table, but make sure that you do not turn your back on the sterile field that you created in front of you in the bed. At this point, we are now sterile, so you can touch anything you want inside of the kit. In the kit, there's another drape if necessary. We also have our iodine swab sticks, and we're gonna go ahead and prepare that. You also have a syringe that is used to blow up your balloon that's gonna secure the catheter inside the patient. So it's best to go ahead and set that up. As you can see, it lets you know how many mLs are expected to completely fill that balloon. So if it requires 10 mLs, you have a 10 mL syringe that's connected to your catheter. The last thing you need to set up is your lubrication. So you'll open that, create a hole big enough to place your catheter in, and just insert your catheter in the lubricating jelly and just set it aside. So again, the three things that need to be set up before you touch your patient is your syringe into the inflation balloon, lubricated catheter, and your swab sticks are open and ready to use. Now, once you've set up everything, you have to eliminate one hand to open and clean your patient. Now take your iodine swab sticks and clean your patient, making sure that you come out like a crane and dispose of each swab stick. Make sure that when you use your swab stick, you are swabbing front to back. Now that your patient is clean, you take your lubricated catheter, open up the patient, ensuring that you are going through the urethra, which is at the top. Ask your patient to bear down and go in. Make sure that when you're inserting the catheter, you are not touching the patient with your sterile hand that's holding the catheter. Once you see a flashback of urine, advance your catheter one to two inches further and secure the catheter with your dirty hand. With your sterile hand, Inflate the balloon by pressing down on the plunger of the syringe. Once your balloon is inflated, you're gonna let go 
of the catheter, give it a nice tug, let go and unscrew. That ensures that the catheter stays in place. At this point, you can breathe. You're not sterile anymore. So we're gonna secure the catheter to the patient with this securement device. When securing, make sure that you have enough slack for your catheter so that it doesn't tug. Once you've secured your Foley catheter to your patient, make sure you place the Foley bag on a non-movable part of the bed. Also make sure that there are no kinks or dependent loops in the tubing so that the urine can flow freely by gravity.